Hi everyone, I'm Caroline and I'm a Stern graduate from the class of 2017 where I concentrated in marketing and computing and data science. Um, I studied away at Maastricht during the fall semester of 2016, so that was during my junior year. And I'm looking forward to telling you guys everything and anything there is to know about Maastricht. So one of the questions that I get asked the most frequently is why Maastricht, especially in light of Paris, London, Milan, and um, other destinations that you might have. Previously, I had studied abroad in NYU Shanghai, and um, I had never actually been to Europe before this. Um, so I think when I was thinking about my NYU Shanghai experience and reflecting about um, some of the things that I wished that I got from the program. I wanted to be in a smaller program in a smaller city so I could really experience the full culture um, because I had already gotten that cosmopolitan experience from NYU. Because it's a smaller city in Europe, um, it's really a place that you can make your own. There's so many small corners of Maastricht that just make it that much more special um, and you wouldn't have known all of these really cool places if you hadn't had taken the time to actually live there and explore. If I could describe Maastricht in three words, I would say quirky, sustainability, and a hidden gem. Maastricht is a quirky city in the sense that I don't really remember the stat for this, but it essentially has the most cafes per capita um, of the Netherlands and um, each cafe is a cafe times something else. So it's a cafe times clothing store, cafe times board game cafe, cafe times bookstore, just any, any other concept that you can imagine. Um, so coffee culture is really strong there. So one thing that's also unique about Maastricht is that it has an underground music scene. So if you're really into alternative music, um, this is definitely a place for you as well. Another thing that's really interesting is the sustainability culture here um, that's really prevalent throughout the Netherlands. Um, so everybody bikes, so by the end of this, you will definitely know how to bike with only one hand or like biking while simultaneously doing something else, which I don't recommend. So for the social life, there is so much that the school organizes for you because they have a very built out international exchange program. For example, we have the International Student Network, which is called ISN for short, that hosts a lot of different ways for you to get acquainted with the city and other people, such as a walking tour of the whole city. Um, we had a Discover Holland trip that was hosted by them where we visited a a lot of different areas of the Netherlands like I think it was Kinderdijk, um, Delft, and a couple other cities that were also included. They also host a lot of different things like pub crawls, um, Cantus, which is you you definitely have to do this when you're in the Netherlands, um, and then other trips and also just trivia nights, um, ways to just get to know the rest of the community. In addition to ISN, there are also other student networks that you can participate in, such as Scope Economics, which I did a Brussels trip um, with. And then there's also a sailing organization, which I don't remember the name, but essentially we got to just try sailing for a day with a bunch of other students, um, mixed in with the non-exchange students as well. So that was really fun. Some of my favorite cultural activities were um, just a couple of the things that are just so uniquely Dutch. So for example, there was um, Carnival, which is where everybody kind of dresses up in costumes, spends the day kind of, you know, drinking or singing um, Dutch Carnival song. And during Christmas, they have Magic Maastricht, which is essentially a fair with your a Ferris wheel, um, an ice skating rink, and a lot of your traditional Christmas market booths. So definitely make sure not to miss that. Academics, um, the topic that everybody wants to talk about while they're um, on their exchange. For the um, classes itself, it's very unique because it's very similar to the Oxford tutorial system in which there is a tutor and then also the students teach each other the course material. So for one to two classes, you're essentially um, acting as a tutor for other students. So they would be reading some of the um, required reading and you would just be there to kind of ask questions just to make sure 
um, that they understood or clarify concepts that you understood. But obviously you have the tutor there to support you. So in case there are certain things that you don't understand or that need further clarification, you do have that support system. And I found that it was a really great way to practice some of your um, public speaking skills or just, you know, being more clear about how to describe things, which I found was really a great compliment to OrgCom and other Stern classes. And at the very end of the tutorial, just to make sure that you have fully grasped all the concepts, you do take an exam at the very end. But that being said, if you are an English speaker, it is easier to understand. I would obviously recommend studying a little bit, but it really isn't something that's super stressful, especially if you're taking your classes pass fail. My favorite course was strategic marketing because um, especially in marketing, we did a lot of um, US based cases back in Stern, but it was really interesting hearing about everybody's perspectives, um, whether they're from Asia, whether they're from Latin America or Europe, um, just about how marketing is done in their country. Um, so I think also the students in particular during the class were really intelligent and um, we had an opportunity to m m uh, mingle with both exchange and non-exchange students. Um, and I think in general, the facilitations were done really well and it was a really great way to learn from the opinions of others. And I also think it was interesting being that point of contact for anything <laughs> American, which even though I didn't feel fully qualified to do, people were also still very interested in uh, my perspective. One other bonus that Maastricht offers is that they also have language classes. So if you are really interested in learning languages like French, Spanish, Dutch, German, um, those are all options for you guys to take um, at an additional cost, of course, but it was also just an interesting way to fill up time that I actually found really valuable. Um, so I took French and I am now at a conversationally fluent level. Um, it just kind of kickstarted my passion for that language. And since I did my exchange program during the fall of junior year, um, one question that I did also get very often was around careers and recruiting. Essentially what I did was I did a lot of OCR recruitment and I was actually able to find my first job out of college from interviewing abroad. And the one thing that I noticed when I was doing these virtual OCR interviews was that everybody would always ask me, why are you in the Netherlands? And it just served as a really great icebreaker. So people didn't feel like they had to talk fully just about my resume or, you know, it was really great to make that connection um, through, through just me being abroad. Um, so I actually thought it made my interviews easier. Some of them definitely wanted me to be in person for some of those final round interviews, but especially in light of the pandemic now, I'm sure that a lot of um, companies will be a lot more open to doing virtual interviews and hiring virtually as well. One thing that I was able to do from a professional perspective in the Netherlands was the Procter & Gamble MBA case competition, which was open to all students within the School of Business and Economics at Maastricht, but I ended up being the only undergraduate representative, and I thought it was a really valuable experience in terms of learning about the way that certain companies run in areas outside of the US. And also being the only undergraduate representative um, was really interesting because I got to meet a couple of people from the MBA program as well. And for housing. So I am from the Bay Area um, and also if you are used to Bay Area or New York prices, European housing um, or just at least Maastricht um, is definitely a lot cheaper. So just as a benchmark, um, I stayed there for over four months and I um, paid 2,390 um, euros for my room, which by today's exchange rate ends up being um, 2,846 um, dollars, which is around $700 per month. Um, and that's definitely a lot cheaper than New York. I would recommend staying with the student or the international dorms, particularly the guest house. 
this makes it a lot easier for you to meet people um, and also other international students who are in the same boat and who want to make friends. So um, if you're looking for that social environment, definitely recommend the guest house. Um, the guest house that I stayed at, guest house C, was essentially a single room and we had a hallway full of other people who were either staying in mostly singles but also doubles and we had um, shared showers and shared um, bathrooms and also shared kitchen and I really like this format because I heard from the people who had their own um, their own bathroom and things like that on their floors that our floors were a lot more social and were a lot more friendly towards one another and we had that sense of community. And also there are usually weekly parties or if not multiple times a week so it's a really fun place to be as well. One thing that I hosted for my floor of about 20 different people was an American Thanksgiving. So. People brought foods from all over the world, um, such as Spain, Italy, Australia, just everybody was just there to have a good time. So for travel, I did a lot of traveling um, all around Western Europe, all around the Netherlands, and also all around Eastern Europe as well. So it's definitely really possible because Maastricht in the Netherlands is in a pretty central location. So you're really close to Germany, you're really close to Belgium, a lot of different countries. Outside of just regular plane travel, I also used Wanderlust Student Trips and Flixbus. And Wanderlust Student Trips is a organization that hosts a lot of tours. So if you want kind of that um, quick uh, exploration of a couple regions, for example, um, that would be your tour for you. You'd be with a bunch of other students. You get to meet people from different schools as well. And now that I've graduated from um, NYU, I might have a little bit of a different perspective on this. It was honestly one of the best experiences that I've had at NYU, and I'm really grateful to NYU for providing this opportunity. Um, just as an example, I attended a Maastricht University alumni reunion in New York City after I graduated. So. I, I really mean it when I say that people who have experienced Maastricht just love talking about Maastricht because it's such a special and a magical place. And um, I also did go back to the Netherlands before starting my first job because of how much I really enjoyed my experience there. And I think it's really fundamentally changed a lot of my perspectives. Um, in terms of my career, just being a lot more globally minded. And even though it's been four years since I finished the exchange semester, I made friends from all over the world. So we still kept in touch. Um, we do video chats and we've visited each other despite the different time zones. Um, so I think I've made a lot of really close friends as a result of this semester. So if you guys have any other questions about Maastricht, definitely feel free to reach out and thank you guys so much for listening.